Sana'a the capital city of Yemen. It is the largest city in Yemen and the center of Sana'a governorate. The city is not part of the governorate, but forms the separate administrative district of Aminat al Asma. Under the Yemeni constitution, Sana'a is the capital of the country, one, although the seat of the internationally recognized government moved to Aden in the aftermath of the 2014-15 Yemeni coup d'état. The city presents you, Sana'a, the capital city of Yemen. Geography Generally, Sana'a is divided into two parts, the old city district, al qadima and the new city, Al-Jadid. The former is much smaller and retains the city's ancient heritage and mercantile way of living while the latter is an urban sprawl with many suburbs and modern buildings. The newer parts of the city were largely developed in the 1960s and onward when Sana'a was chosen as the Republican capital. Climate, Sana'a features the very rare mild version of a desert climate. The city seldom experiences extreme heat or cold. However, some areas around the city can see temperatures fall to around, minus 9 degrees Celsius or minus 7 degrees Celsius, during winter. Frost usually occurs in the early winter mornings, and there is a slight wind chill in the city at elevated areas that causes the cold mornings to be oddly bitter, including low humidity. The sun warms the city to the high, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, and low, 21 to 26 degrees Celsius, during the noontime but it drops drastically as night falls in. History Sana'a is one of the oldest populated places in the world. According to popular legend, it was founded by Shem, the son of Noah. It was known as Aslan ancient times, which has been connected to Yuzl, a son of Kath and, a great-grandson of Shem, in the biblical accounts of Genesis. Its current name likely derived from the South Arabian word for well-fortified, a name that echoes the meaning of the Ethiopian name recorded in a Syriac account as Ozalites, the city held in the 6th century. The Arab historian al hamdani wrote that Sana was walled by the Sabians under their ruler Shiratr, who also built the Gundan Palace in the city. Because of its location, Sana has served as an urban center for the surrounding tribes of the region and as a nucleus of regional trade in southern Arabia. It was positioned at the crossroad of two major ancient trade routes linking Marib in the east to the Red Sea in the west. When King Yusuf Athir, or who knew was, the last of the Himyarite kings, was in power, Sana'a was also the capital of the Ethiopian viceroys. Language, Sana'a already has seven language services, Arabic, English, French, Spanish, Turkish, Russian and Chinese while state television also offers a daily news bulletin in several languages. But the official language is Arabic. Economy Historically, Sana'a had a mining industry. The hills around Sana'a were mined for onyx, chalcedony, and cornelian. The city was also known for its metalwork, which the British described as famous in the early 20th century, but declining in popularity. As of 1920, Sana'a was described by the British as being well supplied with fruit and grapes, and has good water. As the capital city of Yemen, 40% of jobs in Sana'a are in the public sector. Other primary sources of formal employment in the city are trade and industry. Like many other cities in the developing world, Sana'a has a large informal sector which is estimated to constitute 32% of non-governmental employment. However, while there is a greater variety of jobs in Sana'a as compared to other cities in Yemen, there is also greater poverty and unemployment. It is estimated that 25% of the labor force in Sana'a is unemployed. Transportation, Yemenia, the national airline of Yemen, has its head office in Sana'a. Sana'a International Airport is Yemen's main domestic and international airport. There is currently no rail network but there are plans to install one in the future. A primary means of transport in the city is via Daybabs, minibuses which carry about 10 people. 
Taxis are also a very common form of public transport and there are coaches to major cities such as Aden and Thais. Education The government of Yemen has made the development of education system its top priority. The share of the budget dedicated to education has remained high during the past decade, averaging between 14 to 20 percent of the total government expenditure and as of 2000 it is 32.8 percent. The education expenditure is 9.6 percent of GDP for the year 2001 as seen in the chart below. In the strategic vision for the next 25 years since 2000 come if the government has committed to bring significant changes in the education system, thereby reducing illiteracy to less than 10 percent by 2025. Although Yemen's government provides for universal, compulsory, free education for children ages 6 through 15, the U.S. Department of State reports that compulsory attendance is not enforced. The country ranked 150 out of 177 in the 2006 Human Development Index and 121 out of 140 countries in the Gender Development Index 2006. Culture The culture of Yemen has an ancient history, influenced by Islam. Due to its unique geographic location, Yemen has acquired a very distinctive culture from its neighbors, historically and culturally. The people of Yemen have closer ties with the Horn of Africa, Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and Ethiopia, than they do with the rest of Arabia and the Middle East. Cuisine Yemeni cuisine is entirely distinct from the more widely known Middle Eastern cuisines, and even differs slightly from region to region. Throughout history, Yemeni cuisine has had some Ottoman influence in some parts of the north and some Mughal-style Indian influence in Aden and the surrounding areas in the south, but these influences have only come within the last 300 years. Chicken, goat, and lamb are eaten more often than beef, which is expensive. Fish is also eaten, especially in the coastal areas. Cheese, butter, and other dairy products are less common in the Yemeni diet. Buttermilk, however, is enjoyed almost daily in some villages where it is most available. The most commonly used fats are vegetable oil and ghee used in savory dishes, while sem, clarified butter, is the choice of fat used in pastries. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please hit like button to support our channel. And subscribe to our channel to see further new video that we will upload every day. Also don't forget to like our Facebook page. The City Please have a nice day.